What we're going to be talking about in this video is a brief tour of the ribbon interface. In the upper left hand corner, we're going to notice the word drawing. This is our workflow option. I'm going to click this and you're going to see two options. Drawing is going to be the one you're going to choose most of the time. So we're going to leave it set to drawing. Immediately to the right of that is the technology preview or select V8i mode. Now you're going to notice the ribbon is different than what we had in the past for MicroStation V8i. If you would like to return back to the old interface, you can do that by clicking this icon. You're going to see four choices, ribbon, which is currently what we have, dialog, toolbox, and combo box. We're going to take a look at dialog and select this. What you're going to notice on the left hand side is the task navigation like we had before. Now this doesn't activate the keyboard shortcuts like they did before. To do that, you'll need to go to your preferences. So I'm going to come up to the search ribbon. I'm going to type in PREF and preferences appears at the top. I'm going to go ahead and select that. On the preferences dialog under position mapping, you need to turn on position mapping. If I do that, also it says show position mapping aids. I click OK. What you're going to notice on the far left side are those task navigation or position mapping. So now if I hit the letter Q, my linear elements appear. If I hit one, that puts me in place smart line. So that's a way for you to get back to the old interface if that's what you need to do. Now some people do like to go back to the toolboxes also. So I can go back. I'm going to set this back to ribbon. Now when I do that, the workflow changes to navigation. So I'm going to change this back to drawing and then I'm going to go to the preview. I'm going to go down to toolboxes. Now this will open up a couple of toolboxes, ones that you may be familiar with. So let's say, for example, you want to have the manipulate toolbox open as a toolbox and dockable. Well, I can come over here. I can hold the left button down. You'll see there's your manipulate tools and I can say open as a toolbox and then you're going to see the toolbox appear and you can now dock that around your interface just like you were able to do in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to come back. I'm going to reset this back to ribbon. And again, the workflow, I'm going to change that back to drawing. So that's a way to get back to the interface that you had before. So let's take a look at the interface that MicroStation Connect ships with, which is the ribbon interface. You should be familiar with this interface. Microsoft introduced it over a decade ago into their Office products. Most all Windows products have this ribbon interface. Across the top, we have a series of tabs. The first tab we're going to look at is File. This takes us to what is called the Backstage. On the Backstage, you're going to have things like New File, Open, Save, things like that. And if I come down to settings and I select that here under user, you're going to have things like button assignments. You're going to have function keys. You're going to have your preferences. So this is a way for you to get to some of these features within MicroStation. I'm going to click on the arrow in the circle. The next tab is going to be home. Now we're just talking about functionality at this point of the ribbon and the anatomy, if you will. So here we see things like there's attributes and primary. We're going to go to one of the groups because this is a group. Each one of these is a group under groups here at the end, which happens to be groups. I'm going to click on the little launcher icon. And what this does, this launches the dialogue for that specific tool. Now you may not use groups, so this may not seem familiar. We're going to do something that you may be familiar with. I'm going to go to the tab for content and under content, we have cells and there's a little icon right down here. And if I click on that, this opens up my cell library dialog. That may be a dialog you're more familiar with. So look for those little icons. Those are launchers for the dialogues, things like text and cells and dimensions and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and close that. The next and the last thing we're going to look at is something called the quick access toolbar. Now this is along the top here. Now this has been customized by headquarters and you can customize it further if you want to. There are some default items that do appear, but we've got file open. We also have the Caltrans file close, which you should be familiar with. We also have the show previous file. We also have the show next file. These were not new to MicroStation Connect. These have been in the prior software. This allows you to open the very next file in the folder, whether you've opened it in the past or not. Now there is the save and the save settings and there's undo and there's print and things like that. And there's also iPlot. Now at the far right, I can click on this down button and I have an option where I can customize the quick access toolbar if you want to add something to it. 
You can also hide items that are listed there. For an example, set mark, if you don't want that, that's the little push pin. If I click on that, there was the push pin, the green push pin, it's now gone. If I come back, I can select it and you can see it's back again. So that's just a quick tour of the anatomy of the ribbon interface. <music>